These six steps are the core steps in building your lean production system. The whole picture is wider than this and includes suppliers along with efforts like production leveling. Suppliers are strongly integrated into lean production. This is just part of the Toyota production system, but a very key part. The Toyota production system is a 6 plus sigma system. Next, I will review mass and lean production. I will give you a short history of mass production to put all this into context. Prior to mass production, there was craft production. A part would come into the factory and a craftsman would fashion the part to fit its purpose. Mass production was enabled when parts coming into the factory met variation tolerance requirements and no longer needed to be crafted. This decreased costs because companies did not have to hire craftsmen to work on each part. Rather, you could hire an assembler to put the part in its place. The assembly line was born. Mass production is an efficient way of producing a large quantity of the same thing. It is a tried and true methodology. Everyone in the company goes as fast as possible. Mass production is not synchronized and produces lots of inventory in unpredictable places. Lean production lowers costs in two significant areas. One, it significantly lowers inventory because you make one product at a time based on a customer order. And two, you don't need to incur the cost of large storage warehouses. In general, lean production lowers your operational costs. It also enables just-in-time deliveries, again lowering inventory costs. It gives you the ability to adapt to changing marketplaces. When sales go up, your production goes up, and when sales go down, your production goes down. This makes manufacturing much more nimble. This new capability comes with challenges. Workers will have to change how they operate, and the whole manufacturing plant becomes synchronized. A lean production system is less able to accommodate some errors. Next, let's first do a high-level overview of the six steps to lean production before I go into more detail. This is the Toyota Production System's high-level plan to lean production. I follow this in the presentation with more detail. As with lots of solutions to the Toyota Production System, requirements for excellence starts with building maps or your value streams. If you already have your value stream maps built, then you are one step ahead. The next step is to use those value stream maps to determine if you have areas of flow or if there are areas of potential flow. Flow is the starting point of lean production. Third step is to move as many sequential processes to flow as possible. This can be done by moving activities from one process to the next or even changing the configuration of your machinery. Once you have designated areas of flow, this is where you start your Kanban effort. Kanban is one of the pillars of the Toyota production system. Kanban is a pull system and in this step you investigate its implementation. Step 5 is the real implementation of lean production. The concept here is to start small. Step 6 is to start moving Kanban out from the designated areas of flow to adjoining processes. This step can potentially be very time-consuming, but there are ways to speed it up. I will not spend a lot of time on value streams since most manufacturers already have mapped value streams. A value stream includes every process from customer order to delivery. It cuts across departments and gives you profound knowledge of the performance of your system. It's where you start your improvement efforts and it comes with its own set of metrics. Each process is labeled with the total time through the process, the time during the process in which value is added, and process defect rate or the percentage of defects produced. Flow is defined such that just as the previous process completes, the following process becomes ready for its input. A value stream map gives you information about the time through each process. Finding flow becomes easy with a value stream map. You search for processes that are in flow, close to flow, and can be manipulated to flow. The value stream maps pointed to areas of flow and potential flow. Now you are ready to maximize the number of flow processes, where you can move activities between process to balance the process times. Also, when machines are involved, it may be possible to rearrange them to attain two possible benefits. One, create the situation where an employee handles more than one machine, and two, create flow by machine rearrangement. Here are a few reasons how come Toyota started their Kanban effort in areas of flow. When processes are in flow, they are robust to change and less likely to be negatively impacted when you're first starting the Kanban effort. 
Now that you've identified areas of flow, it is time to implement your first effort at Kanban or your pool system. You'll need to determine the information content of the Kanban card and the layout. This is what allows Toyota to build a car based on a customer specification. It's how Toyota builds multiple models and configuration of cars in sequence. Kanban is a logistics solution for your supplies. It manages supplies from the supplier to your dock and from your dock to your assembly line. One of the advantages of starting small is that the content of your Kanban card will most likely change and improve. At this point, you will have your first design of your Kanban system. The Kanban card has these advantages. 1. Contains customer configuration information. 2. Notifies the upstream process that the downstream process is ready. And 3. Protects against building a service or product for no customer. Let me explain the bottom graphic, which is the essence of lean production. You see three queues in one assembly line. Each car is labeled with a number, and each queue is filled with parts that are labeled with numbers that represent the car the part is installed into. The queues are filled from parts off the dock. You can see in the diagram, for instance, that the back seat of car 4 is in the first queue and will be put into car 4 after back seats 2 and 3 are installed. The goal is to optimize the length of all your queues. Every business has queues. The good news is that the major ERP software packages have a Kanban solution built into their software. Kanban is the flow of supplies from the supplier to the dock at just the time it is needed and then to the assembly line just in time. This is a whole system-wide coordinated solution. Your implementation of lean production starts at this point. You have previously executed two prerequisites. The first is that you have determined areas of flow to start with, and secondly, you have settled on a Kanban system of which to manage it. Your prototype build of lean production allows you to test out the solution before it is expanded. At this point, all the groundwork has been done and it is time to propagate the lean production system to the rest of manufacturing. You have completed all the groundwork and have learned from prototyping your system what you need to do to propagate the solution. This may be a good time to start conversations with your suppliers and ascertain their ability to deliver just in time. Your critical suppliers may require the help of some of your experts to get your program running. You may simply need to change suppliers in some cases. As you go through the process of building your lean production system, system, you will start to observe some improved manufacturing capabilities. However, the largest benefit comes as every process is in the Kanban system. You will then have a lean production system. The decrease in inventory will not only lessen the cost of extra inventory, but will allow you to start investigating removing costly warehouses. Your manufacturing system will become more flexible in the variation of products you can supply to your customers. This will increase the demand for your products. This Kanban pool solution is a system, and a major part of the system is lean production. There are other components that I have not discussed that are required. These components are not part of the core solution. I discuss this more in the manufacturing plan, which includes 69 high-level steps at my website, www.buildyourtps.com. Toyota's Kanban just-in-time system means that Toyota receives all parts necessary to build a car every two hours. In other words, they do not pay for more than two hours of inventory at a time. By the way, a car is built from 30,000 parts. It is possible to change the velocity of your adoption of the Toyota production system tools, but not the order. For manufacturers, I have a high-level plan on my website that includes at least 69 higher-level steps. The sooner you start, the sooner benefits start accruing. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and an expert on the Toyota production system. When you finish this effort, you will be ready to apply for a Malcolm Baldwin's Award for Process Excellence. Lean Six Sigma at www.leanbusiness.co and the tools of the Toyota production system make a strong partnership towards operational excellence a competitive advantage.